What's going on guys and welcome to my new LP. It's been a little while since I've done something new. Well, actually, no it hasn't. It was only a couple weeks ago I started Pokemon Crystal. What I mean more or less is, it's been a little while since I started something new in the department of the Wii. That being said, it's probably, most likely, in fact definitely, because I have not had a capture card. But, now that I do, I can actually start the next project I promised someone I would do. That being Robot Guy Dan. I did this a little while ago, but it's time to start. Uh, just a heads up though, this is post-commentary, as you may or may not be able to tell. Unfortunately, I was uh, attempting to record like using two different methods, like kind of newish, and neither of these methods worked. Like, one was recording the video, and one was recording the audio. The video was salvageable. All I had to really do was, uh, say I recorded using this, and I recorded with a bad VOB file. So I just recorded the video, which it couldn't be edited, but I could at least record the video. So I re-recorded the entire video using Camtasia, and then I could use that. But, uh, the audio, I had attempted to use my system's microphone, like the computer microphone. I guess it was a little spoiled using the other computer's microphone, because apparently this one is a lot worse. But, I have come up with a solution to this problem by using uh, Camtasia Studio for actually both. And this will actually allow me to use uh, this headset, which I've had for a little while, and that should work. Anyway, I was just doing a little bit of file management, I decided to delete the Splinter Cell file because I don't really need that. I don't play Splinter Cell too much. However, I do play SpongeBob a lot. And unfortunately, this is lagging a bit for me, but it shouldn't be lagging for you, so that's totally fine. <laughs> it's just the uh, <clears throat> Camtasia Studio. Not able to run to optimal quality when I'm attempting to do post commentary. But whatever. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Wait, I should explain the game I'm playing, shouldn't I? Well, it should show it in like two seconds. THQ, those delightful sons of bitches. Alright, THQ. What do you got for this this time? Are you ready, kids? That's not the usual captain's voice, but who cares? They can't always get the same voice acting. Welcome to Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. To my knowledge, the only actually very good, not just decent, Spongebob game ever made. To my knowledge. I, I don't know if there was another one. I haven't played another one. All I played was Spongebob and like the Golden Satchel on the Game Boy, whatever the hell that was called. Like, Spy Cook something something something. So let's just quickly edit the volume features, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And let's get started with the actual game itself. Load, or new, whatever. Let's get started. Storyline, go! Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a... How are you talking about normally peaceful? They got like 300 friggin' episodes of it not being peaceful. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty. Oh Lord. shit. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> Bastard. With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak <clears throat> mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. Seems legit to me. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a I'm detecting a little bit of Shakespearean irony here, aren't I? And the dumbass of the year award goes to. Oh boy. And 
another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots. We all do sometimes, Patrick. We all do. Real robots to play with, Patrick. I name mine Robo Junior or Zorla. Frankie. Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. The human is uh, sometimes a little dry. Or should I say a little wet? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing chair. Okay. Then we go to sleep. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vidishnasser. I don't know why. Are you sure but that sounds a little racist. Sure. I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna go kick some stuff really butt tomorrow. So oh boy, expect a lot of SpongeBob references. Let me tell you that right now. I'm detecting a lot of Shakespearean irony. Not, not just one scene. There's, there's the Shakespearean irony radar is just going off the charts. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? And we finally get into the game. Alright, let's get started. Yeah, Gary. It sure it looks certainly like does. A doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. That's gonna take work. Ow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to mm -hmm. help me out. Um, how do I well, SpongeBob, the it's only something that can be gained through a uh, educational experience. Or you just press the button, sure. Just do that instead. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a That's very That's the understatement of the century, folks. Understatement of the century. So, we begin the game. And we start off with a delightful hero, Mr. SpongeBob over here. There are three playable game characters in the game. I'll be going over all of them, but first off, we get to start with the yellow square Bob himself. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in well. big, big trouble! <laughs> Uh oh Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep <clears> you posted <throat> Indeed. as the tragic story unfolds. Alright, so as I was saying, there are three playable characters in the game, and we get to start with SpongeBob over here. SpongeBob is generally well rounded. He doesn't get a lot of special uh like moves when he starts out. He just gets a bubble wand, uh, which can basically be used to attack by hitting the B button. Which I can't exactly tell myself to demonstrate right now, so I'll just wait until he starts swinging around. Yeah, there you go, the bubble wand. He also comes with a Y move, which basically allows him to grow a Viking hat and jump into the air. If he would show that off. And there you go. And by hitting the X button in midair, he gets bubble feet. Yeah, those are his basic moves. And by using all those moves, you're basically expected to defeat the enemies. Uh, Steady, not gonna come on that one. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted. I wonder if you put the er the in the script, like when you wrote that. How much ADD do you have to have to like be like write that in the script, like er, headshot the object collector? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever, keep going, keep going. 
Oh, you're not gonna go? Okay, well, I guess I can go start talking about my own thing. Anyway, as I was saying, SpongeBob is one of the three playable characters as I keep getting erupted by. Basically, he's one of the, uh... Okay, just cut, cut in again. Yeah, it's, it's a promotion. That's right, a promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop gotcha. around and get As I was like saying, yeah. As three playable characters, I have to say, I like SpongeBob definitely the best. SpongeBob has the best moves. He's the only guy that can learn new moves. But there's no time. Anyway, he's the just the best all-around character. He does so much for you in the game. You have to use him at every single level. Be better as damn well get used to him. And I cannot read the signs because it's lagging so bad. So I'm just going to let you guys read them. You know, this is the first game I've played on my channel that's actually had the game do the commentary for me for the most part. Well, it doesn't mean I'm not commentating, but what I'm saying is it actually has someone reading the voice acting. Literally every other game I've done on this channel has not used voice acting. Out of the two console games I've played, now this one being the third, none of them had voice acting. <coughs> Which kind of stunk, but whatever. Now the game does a good bit of the reading for me. Isn't that nice? And as I keep getting interrupted, Spongebob is the best character in the game, learning new moves and being uh, the one you play with the most. Out of the other two, I'll explain what their basic uh, skill sets are when you get them. But for right now, just know Spongebob's well rounded. The general stuff he has to do to collect the uh, collectible items and all that, generally they're just, uh, you know, friggin' free. Oh yeah, and as I'm screwing around here, I was kind of talking about how good the controls are in this game. That's one of the things I love. The camera is absolutely brilliant. And I can also change the TV by hitting it with a bubble wand, but that really doesn't matter. Yes, the TV is... or not the TV, the camera is really brilliant. I don't know. <clears throat> Just some games have really good camera controls, this is one of them. Awesome camera controls. Alright, jump on top of the bed, collect the shiny objects, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'll explain everyone's specific skill sets once we get to them. SpongeBob is well-rounded, has no, uh... Like the spatulas he has to collect, which are the things you have to collect in this game, golden spatulas. Uh, I'll go over them. But anyway, this is a pair of underwear. Yeah. Too bad it's lagging so bad that I'll probably be... Yeah, he just got hit in the head with the face. Yeah, this is lagging pretty bad. Oh well, not for you guys it won't be though, so... It's all good. At least it shouldn't be. Better not. I feel like a new sponge. Alright. Yeah, get back to the regular commentary. I just wish I could see everything. You can smash things with your bubble wand. You can do whatever the hell you want in this game. Why is SpongeBob a picture of Sandy? I don't know. Yeah, it's probably really laggy. Alright, so this is SpongeBob's library. And there's a shitload of sides in here. Isn't that just damn fucking fantastic? Eh, <laughs> 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 fun about standing on the sign. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, as I was saying, the things you have to collect in this game. Oh my god, I have AD. Can you tell I have ADD? Oh boy. All right. Spongebob has these things to collect called golden statues, and you collect them in all these levels. There are a total of, I think, about, I don't even know, there's like eight in every level, eight times, there's like 13, 80, I don't even know. Bottom line, there's a lot of golden spatulas you have to collect in this game in order to get to the end. I'm not going to be collecting every single golden spatula, however I will be getting almost every single one I know how to get, 
or it's actually fun to get. Trust me, there's some ones that are not fun to get, and I'll probably skip because of how stupid they are. Yeah, never said I was going for a 100% run, just I was going for a run. Alright, the Tiki's, the good old Tiki's. However, we're probably already past this point in the video, so I'm probably just talking to you from the past, while you guys are in the future. Oh boy. It's so interesting to see the, like, the types of lag. Like, right now, I'm probably doing a past commentary, like, but when you look at Slim Kirby, sometimes he'll have a thing where he has, like, a future commentary. Like, I don't even know how that happens. Like, he just gives you a little hint before the event actually happens. It will say, oh no. And like, why are you saying, oh no? Oh shit, he just fell down the hole. How'd that happen? It's like Slim Kirby gets to predict the future for us, guys. I don't know. I've had that problem before, I think, where the commentary was faster than the video itself. Alright, but that shouldn't be a problem anymore. After this video, after I test the waters, no pun intended. Actually, maybe there wasn't pun intended. I don't know. It's SpongeBob. So once I test that stuff, it should make a lot more sense. Like, I'll know exactly more or less what I'm doing. Alright. And down falls that thing. Jump up, clutch the shit, and then jump back down. Hey. But as I keep, I keep getting distracted, God damn it! SpongeBob's golden spatula is he has to collect. He has a multitude of events. He has no specific event of golden spatulas to collect. Basically, each of his golden spatulas have a different random thing. Like sometimes it'll be uh, for speed. Sometimes it'll just be like a random challenge. Sometimes it's just getting to the end of level. It's always different. However, generally what I've noticed, the other two Spongebob companions that you can get, uh, they do have generally a simplistic, like, a set value of, like, challenges that they usually get. And down for the boxes. But I'm wondering where the hell the ball is. Oh yeah, you have to go hit the switch again, dumbass. Thank you. So now you just gotta grab the ball. Jump on it, don't miss the ball. Push it back towards near the button, please. And thank you for finally pressing the button. And it appears there's a stock up there. I don't remember in the game if that was explained yet, but I might as well explain it anyway, even though the game's going to explain it in the next 15 minutes. Yes, why is Patrick glad to have that back? Well, that is a stock. Every time you collect 10 stocks, you can return them to Patrick because there's Patrick Lost stocks, and you get a free golden spatula. Yeah. This is another golden spatula. Here's an example of one. Think of them as the golden stars of this game. This is the very first one, and you need it to get out of SpongeBob's house. That's right. You need a golden spatula to get out of SpongeBob's house. SpongeBob is a... is like kind of... I guess the best word would be... He's enslaved to his own house. It's kind of like a toll system. Every time you go by this toll, you gotta have a golden spatula. You don't pay the golden spatula, but you at least have to have the limit of golden spatulas in order to pass by the door. Which I do. Sometimes there'll be different kinds of tolls. Sometimes they'll be for shiny objects. Sometimes they'll be for spatulas. Other times, they're for nothing else. I think it's just shiny objects and golden spatulas. That's another thing I like about this game. There's not enough, there's like very few collectibles that you really have to worry about. There's just enough to hold you over, but it's not like DK64 where there's like 15 trillion of them. Seriously. There's 15 different things you have to collect for every single friggin' Kong. Spending. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me <laughs> right They even bet all my spoons. Things. I love those spoons like they were my children. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! From what I've noticed, most of the voice acting in this game is actually pretty spot on. 
Like, Plankton, I don't know if he is the correct character or not, or if Spongebob's the correct character or not. All I know is, it sounds close to damn enough for me. There are some characters where it's very obvious they didn't get the correct voice acting. But, whatever. Me, Fargo and Spessas, enter downtown Bikini Bottom. Yeah, I'm already over there smashing cheekies before I even said that, so... I was really late on that commentary, wasn't I? Whatever. Hey, it's everyone's delightful friend over there, yeah? I know you can see him. I know you can see him. Hey, Bubble Body! Bubble Body! I like how they actually give a voice actor for Bubble Buddy. He has like two sentences in the actual show. Except in that episode where Bubble Buddy returns. However, I don't count that episode considering this show, or this game came out in like what, 2003 I think? 2004? I don't remember. Even 2002. All I need to know is it definitely came out before uh... I don't know where we were. I'm busy talking about how you only have like two lines in the episode, and somehow you have like 18 lines here. And you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Yep, that's a pretty powerful move, I must say. But before I do that, jump on top of this. Here's another thing I love about this game: the fluent jumping control. Good God, I love this game's jumping control. It's so much more fluent than Mario 64. The only thing that's kind of annoying is you move relatively slow. However, they even give you something small to make up for that as well. This game has all the controls so well covered that literally it's just a brilliant game. Hey Patrick, nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing it's on. Lost. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, oh, there are more laws. I love the commentary of Patrick in this game. Collecting socks. Oh shoot, we're getting a golden turkey baster? Hell yeah. No, no, he means golden turkey baster. Thank you, Patrick. You better give us the golden turkey baster when we finish. <laughs> Seriously, how much of a pimp would you be with a golden turkey baster? Good god. That apparently needs 15 spatulas. That's what to ask. And Google Good over there needs 10. However, I'm probably over here doing something else in the commentary right now. I don't know. Honestly, it's like the audio is on par, but the video isn't. And I have better... Actually, yeah, I, I have better hearing that I think I have vision, I think. I mean, I do wear contacts, but... Yeah, I wear contacts, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm hearing slightly better. Anyway, this is the county border. If you run past this, Spongebob will grind on his teeth, a hand will come and take you, and will move you away. As may or may not have been demonstrated. Yeah, I think it's been demonstrated. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's how the game shows you that you've died. A hand comes, takes you, and puts you back at the last checkpoint. That's just how it works. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. 
I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Now I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? to move to another town. That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! <laughs> I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. You can help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me.
The rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy and, oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself.
Push, 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 push. 